interstellar space flights have long been dream of many, but the technical problems associated with such an expedition are extremely complex. The nearest star system is 40 trillion kilometers away from us. With the use of current technologies, the flight to it would take 30,000 years. But already there are projects that will allow you to build a spacecraft capable of covering this distance in 30 years. How is this possible? And what we will find in the Proxima Centauri system? That's what we are going to talk about today. So we are going on our long journey, lasting a little more than four light years from Earth. The good news is that the information about the existence of the Earth-like planet Proxima Centauri b has been confirmed, and even in the habitable zone of its star Proxima Centauri. The discovery of the new planet was carried out as a result of long and careful observations under the general name Pale Red Dot. There is another planet in the star system, Proxima C, but it is too far outside the habitable zone and looks more like an icy Neptune than Earth. A little later, with the help of the VLT telescope Espresso Spectrograph, a third sub-Earth-sized exoplanet Proxima Centauri d, closer than the first two planets, was discovered near Proxima Centauri. It orbits very close to its parent star and ten times closer than Mercury to the Sun. A year on Proxima d lasts five Earth days. The mass of the planet is about a quarter of the mass of the Earth. And the bad news is that Proxima d also does not fall into the habitable zone, because there is a person will head up to ignition. But let's go back and study Proxima b in more detail. We discovered it by the radial velocity method, in which the periodic shift of spectral lines due to the Doppler effect makes it possible to determine the presence of a planet around the star. It seems that we are very lucky, even now with our level of technology, to fly to this exoplanet for thousands of years. But even if a super-fast spaceship is invented and built, do not rush to throw spacesuits into suitcases. Let's first take a closer look at this extraordinary world and find out how suitable Proxima b is for life. To understand whether there will be suitable conditions for existence on the planet, first of all you need to study the star around which it rotates. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf and is not at all like our Sun. It is much smaller and emits, accordingly, less light. Proxima Centauri is only one and a half times larger than Jupiter and in comparison with our star, its size is seven times smaller. The entire star system itself is called Alpha Centauri. Two stars from Earth seem to us to be a single luminary, Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B. The planet that we liked for colonization revolves around the third star, Alpha Centauri C, or its other name, Proxima Centauri. The red star is quite dim, so we can't see it with the naked eye since red dwarfs emit a small amount of energy. Both stars rotate in an elliptical orbit around a common center of mass, and their orbital period is almost 80 Earth years. In order to get enough heat needed for life, the planet must be much closer to a star like a dim red dwarf. In the case of Proxima Centauri b, everything is true. It is located at a distance of 7.5 million kilometers from its luminary. For comparison, there are as many as 150 million kilometers between the Sun and the Earth. It takes only 11 days for a complete revolution around the star Proxima b. Such a close proximity on the one hand is acceptable for the existence of water, but on the other hand, it can be quite dangerous. If we talk about water, then it can exist only from the illuminated side, since due to the tidal capture, the planet is turned to its luminary with only one side, so that local killer whales have to move the air flippers intensively so as not to fry. However, there is an opinion that there is still a rare change of day and night on Proxima b due to the elongated orbit, since at its extreme points the tidal influence of luminary weakens. It turns out that a day on this planet is almost two-thirds of its year, that is by earthly standards they last about a week. And what about the possibility of the existence of any life forms on Proxima b? There is a hope for this. Theoretically, life is still possible on the planet, 
even with such powerful flashes of ultraviolet radiation. According to astrobiologists, some living creatures are able to hide from the deadly UV radiation using natural shelters. For example, they can exist underground or deep underwater. If living organisms on the planet have mastered this method of energy conversion, then it can glow very strongly at certain wavelengths, perhaps even in the visible range. Such a powerful glow can be seen even from the ground. It is not surprising that the neighboring and so diverse system is of great interest, because of cosmic standards, it is just around the corner. That is why at the moment there is quite a lot of interest in the incredible Breakthrough Starshot project. The goal of the project is really fantastic – to send a flotilla of interstellar ships to Proxima Centauri in the coming decades. Miniature probes are even called appropriately. Starships are not to be confused with the snack. It is assumed that the thousand or even tens of thousands of such vehicles weighing no more than one gram will be delivered to the near-Earth orbit and sent on a flight to Proxima Centauri. The probes will deploy solar sails, measuring 4 and 4 meters. The ultra-thin foil will reflect the incident radiation from the ground, accelerating the flight like a sail inflated by the wind. The push of the devices will be given by the beams of an array lasers located on the ground. This will be a ground-based phased array of laser emitters measuring 1 on 1 kilometer. So the star chips will be able to gain up to 20% of the speed of light and it will take them about 25 years to fly to Proxima Centauri, if everything goes according to plan. Upon arrival the Alpha Centauri system, the probes will collect the necessary information, photograph the surroundings of the system and the planet, and in five years these data will need to be accepted on Earth. In conclusion, it is worth nothing that climate modeling of Proxima Centauri B gives completely different results depending on a variety of parameters the speed of rotation of the planet around the axis or its absence, the presence of water and the degree of its salinity, the location of continents, the density and composition of the atmosphere, etc. Let's hope that further study of it, as well as the flight of the interstellar flotilla of starships, will help us to finally verify the possibility of life on this planet. By tradition, we will keep our fists on our feet so that the project has further development. In the meantime, the potentially habitable planet closest to us remains mysterious and completely inaccessible. And what do you think? Does Proxima B have a chance, or is it worth looking for life in other parts of our galaxy?